Hi, my name is Sam Johnson and I'm a voice teacher. Today I'm going to be talking through how to make a home studio setup for $5,000. I know $5,000 is a pretty big chunk of change. It's a lot of really, really good equipment in this video. And Sweetwater, the sponsor of this video, is doing a great giveaway where if you go to their website and create a wish list of under $5,000, you're automatically entered to win that wish list, to win everything in that list. They're gonna give it away to someone, which is awesome. All you have to do to enter is go to Sweetwater through the link in my description between now and November 24th. Create a wish list by following along with this video and you'll automatically be entered as long as it's before November 24th. So even if you don't win it though, Sweetwater is really cool and they have a lot of other things that might not add up to $5,000. So my main goal through this video is to explain the purpose of each of these items so that when you're building your own wish list on Sweetwater, you can build something that works for your situation, that works for the kind of music that you wanna make, and you just know that you have all of the right components to start making music and recording as soon as you want to. Start by going over to Sweetwater.com. There's a link in the description below. We're gonna to have to go to our account and log in. We're going to log all the way in. First, we need to get a microphone. We're gonna go for a condenser microphone. They're condenser and dynamic microphones. I'm honestly not an expert in microphones. This is a condenser mic. It's a little bit lower than the one we're gonna be putting in this. But again, in this video, I'm focusing on quality. I'm not gonna do just a ton of different products. I'm gonna do a few really good products. So we're gonna scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Where is that Sure. I want a Sure. Sure. Okay, and we are going to add the Shure KSM44A large diaphragm condenser microphone. It's a cool looking microphone. Shure is a really reliable brand. And down here, someone says that Alison Krauss used it and Alison Krauss is really good. So once you're at that page, go and add it to your list, wish list. Done, continue shopping. Once we have a microphone, we need something to plug that microphone into. So we're gonna try to get a audio interface. The Apollo Twin series is amazing. Universal Audio makes really high quality equipment. So we are going to add that. If you're planning on getting a lot of different plugins and really utilizing this thing for its full potential, I highly recommend the quad one. However, for the purpose of this video and to make sure everything could fit under that $5,000, we're just gonna use the Duo, which for an intro, it's still way overpowered for most people. Uh, so we're gonna do the Duo Twin MK2 and add that to our list. Done. Cool. I love this thing. I use it every day. It, is a really, really good interface. If you wanna save a little bit of money, I would also suggest looking at some focus rights. They're a few hundred dollars less. They get the job done really well, but I like Universal Audio and we're going for really good quality stuff. We need something to connect these two. So we're gonna go find, we're gonna find some cables, accessories, Cables, hot cable deals. I want this one, 20 feet long, 25 bucks, good cable, great reviews. Add it to the list. And we're gonna want three of these because we need a cable to connect the microphone to the interface and we need two cables to connect the interface to our monitors, how you're gonna listen most of the time when you're mixing your music. I'm choosing the 20 and the 20 foot one because you're generally gonna get better recording quality if you have your laptop or your computer in one room and then you record in a closet. I'm not gonna be purchasing any sound treatment stuff. I think that it's a lot more simple to just go into a closet that has a lot of uh, dampening things in it and maybe a bookshelf or something because that creates a much better space than trying to treat a big room like this or treat your bedroom or even to get one of those things that goes behind the microphone. I just think that it's better to do a closet. So we're gonna do three of these. 20 foot should be long enough to reach that. If it's not, they have really, really long cables as well. 
add to list, wish list, done. View our wish list. It only has one. Let's put three. Done. Er, more done. I am assuming in this video that you have a computer, that you have a desk, and that you have a closet somewhere to record it in. Now we need something to hold our microphone. So we're gonna go find more accessories, I think. Stands. We're gonna find a microphone stand. Onstage is a really good brand. We're gonna go with an onstage brand. There it is. Euroboom. Done. Add to list. You could also get a boom arm, which is what I use. It attaches to my desk. I like it for my desk because my desk is sit stand. And so when I'm standing during a lesson during the day, the microphone raises with me so that I don't have to always be constantly adjusting a microphone stand. But again, like I recognize that this room is not the ideal for recording audio. We're trying to record really, really good audio in this. Get a stand like this. We're gonna throw that in a closet and it's gonna do a really good job. We have our microphone, our interface, a mic stand, some cables. Now we need something that's gonna start actually letting us listen to things. So I'm gonna get some monitors. I'm gonna go get these studio monitors. Again, we are splurging on some of these things. I wanna get some JBLs. We're gonna get some eight inch monitors. This is the woofer, this is the tweeter. This one's a small little speaker. This one's a bigger speaker at the bottom that makes the bigger sounds. The tweeter makes smaller sounds. In the voice, we also kind of have like a woofer and a tweeter. There's the bass and there's high frequencies. Everything in life is frequencies. Everything in sound is frequencies. And if we didn't have those bass frequencies boosted by something in our voice, then it would sound really tinny and high. If we didn't have something boosting those higher frequencies, it would sound really woofy and low and it tends to get really flat. So we need something that's full spectrum. These are good. We're gonna add two of these to our list. And again, it's kind of weird about adding multiple at a time, so I'll just put it like this. Done. We are at $2,300. That's pretty much all you need, except for a DAW, a DAW, to start recording vocals. So now we need to get a DAW. A DAW is a digital audio workstation, and that is what you use to organize everything. That's your recording program. So we're gonna go here, find software, DAW software. Pro Tools is great. People love Pro Tools. It switched over to a license. You could get an ultimate perpetual license with this, but it's not in the budget plan. So we are gonna get Ableton 10, which is another very good program. And we are going to add that to our list. It, it's also really good for editing MIDI. And from here on out, we're pretty much talking about how to start composing the music that you're gonna start recording to. Ableton is a really good one for that. It also translates well for if you're doing live shows and it functions well with the next piece of software that we're going to get, which is Machine. Machine is a MIDI controller. Um, MIDI is a way that we use to handle sound. Um, it doesn't actually have audio files. It just tells the computer which audio files to trigger to trigger at which times. So machine is a really cool thing. Um, I'm just gonna search for it, machine. It's got an S in there. And they came out with a new one pretty recently. I don't have this, I have the MK2 and I've loved it. I don't produce as much as I want to. I'm starting to actually work on that quite a bit. So we're gonna add that to our list. Machine, it has these 16, different pads on it. Every time that you hit one of those pads, it triggers a different sound. Then it has different groups. This one has a full color screen. Mine does not have that. Um, they're also totally velocity sensitive. So you can do some really cool finger drumming with this. And it actually turns it into a physical instrument in my opinion. That's what I really like about machine compared to some other MIDI controllers and some other ways of handling MIDI data is like you can just draw things in and do it really cerebrally and all of that. But if you have a physical thing in front of you, you can learn to play it like an instrument. 
you get better with the flow. You, It's fun. It's more active. It's an easier way to get everything to work. So we're going with Machine. Machine also comes with a bunch of different instruments built in. Like it has the Gentleman, which is a pretty decent piano sound. It has Drum Lab. You can get some good sounds with that. Massive is a really nice synthesizer. Prism and Monarch, are, they're really good. It comes with this big bundle. So this is doing double duty by getting us a controller and it's also getting us a bunch of sounds to use with that controller. However, it is no piano. And so I want to get a MIDI controller with keys on it. So we're gonna go back to keyboards and synthesizers, MIDI controllers, scroll down. This M Audio one's pretty good, 61 keys. It won't make sound on its own. It has to be hooked into a computer to start making that sound because it is a MIDI controller exclusively. It's not a synthesizer. It doesn't really do anything inside it. It doesn't have, um, a good computer in that has a bunch of storage with different samples like what my keyboard has, but it does exactly what we need to do, which lets you use a keyboard. So we're gonna add this M Audio to our list, done. The reason I chose this one instead of some other ones is because it has 61 keys. It's not a full 88 keyboard, but it's big enough that you can get a lot of good stuff down. If you're a really, really good pianist, I would invest in one of the 88 key keyboards. Um, just you're going to want it eventually and you will upgrade eventually. But if you're not like an excellent piano player, this is a pretty good start. It also has semi-weighted keys. So um, in an acoustic piano, the keys have some weight to them. If you touch it, it will. there will be some resistance as you're clicking each key. Uh, this one is a full hammer one, the one that I use. But it's really, really heavy. This is also a quite a bit more portable. So if you're trying to produce in different places, you could carry this around with you if you want. It's a little bit bulkier than you might want to to like fit in a backpack, but you can do a lot with this. This has semi-weighted keys, so it's not as heavy as one of these full-sized, really big, bulky keyboards or a grand piano or any sort of acoustic piano, but it gives you a little bit of resistance. And so for piano players, people who actually play, they really prefer that. Uh, if we had a non-weighted key, that would be more of a synthesizer style or an organ style. So it also just depends on what you're into. Um, another thing that I might suggest doing is go over to some store that you can try this out and then come back to Sweetwater and add it to your list once you know what you want and check out and all of that. So did we add that? I don't know. We'll add it again. Done. Go to list. No. Account. W ah, wish list. We have two of them. We don't need two of those. Done. Okay, we are at $3,600. We have a lot of really good equipment. At this point, you really can start making a lot. Like everything that we're adding on at this point is just to get your brain to be able to make as many cool sounds as it can imagine. So we're gonna make, we're going to add a cool synthesizer. I'm gonna go to studio and recording. No, we're not. Yeah, no, we're not. Software, we're going to go to virtual instruments. Scroll down, we want Omnisphere. Omnisphere, it's good, it has reviews. It doesn't have built-in compatibility with the, synth with the keyboard that we have, but again, we're running everything through a computer nothing is happening outside of that computer except for anything that you're recording with your microphone that you bought. But this is a really great synthesizer. You can come up with pretty much anything, any sort of sound that you can come up with. And it has just a ton of different presets, like 1600 new patches in this one, um, at least right there. Where is it? Over 14,000 sounds, 1600 patches. You can do a lot with Omnisphere and you can do kind of any sort of music that you want. You can do hip hop all the way to classical uh, cinematic scoring. So we are going to go for some Omnisphere. Okay, we did forget one thing. We are going to have to get some headphones because when you are in, the, in your closet, you're gonna need something to talk to the computer so that you can know where you're at. So we're gonna go add in that headphones. 
it has been a day. And we are going to do these uh, closed back studio monitoring headphones. Audio-Technica is a good brand. That's who makes the microphone that I use right now. And they're monitoring headphones. They are meant for what you're going to be using them. Um, I do believe that these cups can rotate and they come with a bunch of cool cables. So we're gonna add that to the list. Wish list, done. They are closed back headphones, which means that the sound won't bleed out like it will with uh, these Sennheiser headphones. These Sennheisers don't have a back on them, so the sound will get out. When you're in the when you're in the booth trying to record vocals, though, we don't want sound to get from here into the microphone. So any bleed, there is a little bit of a chance that it's going to get back into the microphone and it's going to just muddy up your recording. So we're going to go with a closed back with this. Um, while you're using this, I highly suggest only covering one of your ears so that you can still hear yourself in the room. Sometimes having both ears covered just really throws people off and they end up doing weird things with their voices that they wouldn't do if they were able to hear themselves in the room. So that is added to the cart. Wish list done. Happened again. Gotta make sure it's just one. 4319, we're getting close. We're getting mighty close. You're recording your vocals. Here's some controversy for y'all. We are going to add auto-tune and there's just nothing you can say to pull me away from that. So we're gonna add the pro auto-tune so that you can do whatever you want. This lets you do any of the sounds that you're familiar of with auto-tune, like the share sound, the Kanye West sound, the that rap, rapper sound you can do with this. You can also do just little tuning. And whether it's fortunate or not, at this point, our ears are pretty much tuned to auto-tune. And most of the recordings that you're going to hear in modern contemporary music have auto-tune on them. They have some sort of pitch or time correction. This one also lets you move time around. Just do it. Don't fight it. Just embrace auto-tune. It's there to help us. It's a good thing. Don't argue, please. It, it's a good thing. We are getting close. We only have $282 left. So let's get something to master our tracks once they're done because we already have auto-tune and a headphone that will help us record. We have Omnisphere and Machine and Ableton. And Ableton comes with a bunch of different sounds also. So you have a lot of options to start making some really cool music, producing this music. We have a way to mix with it. We have something to hold it. We have all the cables that we need. I know it's only three cables, but that's enough for all of this, surprisingly. We have our interface and we have our microphone. So you can produce everything that you want, but it's just gonna sound a little bit funky unless you have something to get it mastered. If you know someone who knows how to master, that would be a cool thing to ask them to do. But we're gonna use Isotope Ozone. We're not gonna go with the advanced one because at that point, just have someone else do it. But this just lets it go from a track that is mixed fairly well and everything, but it takes it to the next level. It makes it ready to release. You need it. We're going with Isotope Ozone. Oh, we should get a pop filter. So we're gonna go to accessories again and get a pop filter. No, we're not, we're just gonna search for a pop filter. Uh, Gator, they're, they're all pretty much the same, I think. Like, you could get some of these better ones. This is a single layer. A pop filter is this guy. It makes it sound way better. We're gonna get a pop filter. Gator, this one's fine. Add to cart, wish list, good. View our wish list. $11 left. Um, we're going to be in that booth with these headphones, so we need something that will allow them to get all the way to your computer. We're going to get a cord extender. So we're going to go to accessories, cables. Uh, we need a three. It's a balanced cable, and it is one eighth to one eighth. That's just the standard, not iPhone, but the standard headphone jack size. This one's good, Hosa's good, but it's not quite long enough. Let's see if we can just change that in here. Uh, no, we need to get a slightly longer one. 
Hosa, female to male, 3.5. Am I completely blind? Oh, let's just, this is easier. 20 and, blah, blah, blah. that's too much money. I guess we'll go down. I'm gonna look at the 25s. That'll be long enough. There we go, 25. Price drop, ooh -wee. 25 inches, feet. So this one goes into the computer. This one, you use the cord that comes with your headphones to plug into that. You could also get a male to male with these headphones and use that to just plug directly into your headphone. But with this, it lets you use that extra length. Um, so we're gonna add that to our list. Wish list, good, view our wish list. Perfect, A dollar ten. We made it. This is everything that you need to start recording, writing, producing some really, really cool stuff. It's all professional quality. I mean, this has a one star, but I have no idea why. Hosa is a really good, it's a really good brand. It's all a very high level stuff. If you're into this hobby and you have the disposable funds, just start with what you want because you will start upgrading some of these things very, very quickly. And especially for the purpose of this, of of Sweetwater giving away $5,000 worth of stuff to someone, go right up to it. So feel free to copy this list if you want to uh, and go make some really awesome music.